And on this chilly night, an inclement weather shelter alert has been issued to help people get off the streets and out of the cold. It comes just hours before San Diego's homeless count. Here's Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen from the East Village. Yeah, well, it's definitely cold out here already. Definitely expected to get colder as the night uh, goes on, but we're still seeing a lot of people out here on the streets and the community is helping to address that. Tonight is indicative of the fact that we as a community don't have enough resources. Despite increasing shelter and housing resources in San Diego, homelessness is still a big problem, especially when temperatures drop. It is absolutely dangerous to be out in the weather tonight. All right, people will suffer from hypothermia potentially. And we know in any, in any given year, we have about 100 deaths on the streets of San Diego. In efforts to get people off the streets during cold weather, shelters are extending an extra helping hand. Father Joe's Village opened its dining room for 55 cots. In addition to the 2,500 it provides every night, the San Diego Rescue Mission also adding some spare beds. So tonight we'll be able to bring in 10 extra people in out of the cold. In efforts to get more resources and funding from the federal government, San Diego will hold its annual point in time count on Thursday. It, it's an opportunity where about 1,500 volunteers, believe it or not, go out and canvas the county and they count the people um, in cars, on the streets, in shelters. Uh, they also survey a good number of them and ask specific questions about their homelessness situation. The last time it was done was in 2020, identifying more than 7,600 people experiencing homelessness, and it's predicted to be even higher this year. I'm hopeful that it's not as bad as double, but I do think we're gonna probably see a pretty substantial increase. And even though this point in time count is happening on Thursday, we won't get the results for a few months. So, of course, stick with Fox 5 and we'll keep you updated with the very latest on those numbers. Reporting from the East Village, Kelsey Christensen, Fox 5 News. Kelsey, thank you.